Guys, what's a good sign that a woman is just using you? Your issues aren't worth talking about, but she will unload all of hers on you. I had a girl tell me she only talks to a guy because he buys her food when she asks. This guy was my friend and was very interested in her. One sidedness. When she expects you to do things that she wouldn't do herself. She doesn't act that interested when you are interested, flirting, contacting her. But when you stop, suddenly she is very interested and contacts you a lot until you act interested again. The cycle then repeats. Does she ever ask you how you're doing, more than superficially, or seem interested in what's going on with your life? When she flirts with you all the time, and also everyone else, and asks you to come over to do complex electrical work and says she'll take you out to dinner, and you agree because you like the work and like being around her, but she brings her kids along and ignores you the entire time. Then when you're not around her she never texts or calls and just waves at you when you pass her at work every day, making no effort to talk to you whatsoever. And when you try to talk to her she gives you short answers like ye yeah. Beep you Liz. She never calls you by your name and you find out you're labeled free food in her phone. I was dating a girl who said she was too busy to go on a date on Saturday and that she was only free on Tuesdays. She also said that she wanted to date other guys while dating me. She later admitted that she was cycling boyfriends through the week for free food. I dropped her like a bag of moldy tangerines. Girl is using my buddy and he doesn't see it. She only reaches out to him when she's single, nothing ever comes of it as she will find excuse after excuse to not actually meet up, then when she gets a new boyfriend she ghosts him unless something goes wrong and she needs a shoulder to cry on. Guys, if she only reaches out to you when she's hurt or vulnerable, she doesn't want you she wants sympathy and knows you'll give it to her. Edit, and to be clear this isn't an exclusively girl thing to do. Guys can be guilty of this too. Edit too, and if you were in this situation and hung on only because you wanted thought you'd get sex relationship out of it, that's nice guy insult behavior. If you hang around for a reason that isn't, I genuinely care about this person in a non-romantic context, and would keep doing this if there was no sexual romantic desire, then that isn't you being the good guy. You don't want them, you want the idea of them that you've built in your head. Dot. It's possible you're both wrong. There are no signs big enough what will be visible throughout rose tinted glasses. Pretty much the same as when any person is just using you, the relationship feels unbalanced and unequal, with you giving more than you are receiving. In a good relationship, friendship, whatever, both people are giving what they want to give without coercion and both feel adequately rewarded for it. Sometimes one person needs more, sometimes the other, but it evens out over time. When you feel like you're being coerced into giving more than you really want, whether that's with force or emotional manipulation or whatever, you're being used and you'll eventually resent it. I'm not a man, but I've known too many not-so-great women and have had guy friends used by women, so I think I can chime in here a little. She never wants to listen to your complaints but that's all she does herself, she asks about your bank account and your job often and says she's just wondering, she gets unreasonably mad when you forget a holiday, she makes deals with you using her body, if you buy me this, I'll suck your dick in the car. She lies constantly about her own financial situation or personal relationships. She always wants to hang out with a specific friend of yours. She doesn't thank you for things, but rather expects them. She manipulates you by threatening to withhold sex until she gets her way. She only says, I love you, when you give her something or do something for her. She never pays for anything herself. She guilt trips the life out of you. She is unreasonably explosively defensive when you voice your concerns regarding the relationship op. If your girls is doing any of these, find a new girl. If you and your partner do this for mutual, well-intended fun, then there's of course no problem. It's when one person uses it specifically to get what they want, as a manipulation tool, that I find it to be a serious issue. You should never have to earn sex, unless that's a DS thing that you've both discussed and consented to beforehand. Anytime you try opening up, you're acting off character, selfish, an ass, etc. It's usually the typical pathetic manipulation people pull to make you feel bad for either standing up for yourself or just trying to be you. She's in desperate need of a lung transplant and is always complimenting you about what nice lungs you have and making off-handed comments about how you don't use your lungs much and could probably do okay without them. 
She only talks to you when she needs something. Edit, well, this really blew up. Thanks for the upvotes. Edit 2, thanks for the silver. Oh, I can answer this one. When asking you for something, time money physical effort, if you say yes, she will almost always and immediately look for something else to ask you for that is related. E.g. Can you stop and pick up those hair things for me? I say yes. Okay, can you also stop by the shop next door and get me that thing I like? This kind of things isn't a big deal on occasion, but when it's a repeating pattern, it's a red flag. She will point out how much she beep you and how it's for you. Will treat any most of your interests with disdain or indifference. Doesn't ever really care what you have to say. When you attempt to point out any inequality in the relationship, she will get extremely defensive and attack you for being selfish, and tell you you need to be more supportive giving, a real man. A girl once called me her, happy pill. A nickname her therapist created cause I genuinely made her life so much better but she cheated on me anyway. My friend told me that you only take a pill when you need it and I've lived by that and use that as a filter for all my relationships. She uses her emotions and body to get what she wants from you. Makes you feel like you need to spend more time money on her w her. She doesn't understand the word no. If you feel like you're being used, and you can't have the conversation about it with her. They contact you when they need something. She's always making posts telling her friends where you took her for dinner, birthday, holidays, vacation and what gifts you've given her, but never once does she say anything about any unique qualities she finds attractive in you. Unkind and unloving treatment. Blaming you for her unhappiness. At least that was my now ex-wife. Not gender specific but if your lover is almost constantly irritated with little things about you, but says she loves you, she is lying. She loves the feeling of being loved by you, she does not love you. That is literally how you can tell. When you realize you are there for her more than they are for you. Not a guy, but I'm a bi woman. Uneronically, think of a pickup artist and how they see women. Objects of desire to be captured and kept by any means necessary. Some women do that beep too, and they use the same tactics. One they will be fairly quick to get angry or upset with you. Small things will be made into big problems, and you'll be put down for them. Two they will swing wildly between treating you well and treating you like beep their actions are there to promote a transational relationship, i.e., got to treat him well sometimes so he keeps coming back. Three they will use their pain against you, making you feel like beep often they will make you feel bad for them or feel guilty. The goal is to make the guy sympathize with them as well as show vulnerability. For example, the guy might catch himself thinking, she's going through a rough time and everything will be better soon. 4. Gaslighting. They'll just lie to you, even if you have proof. Dot. It will usually start small and escalate to bigger things. They want the dude to question his reality and be more open to manipulation 5. Isolation. They'll try to isolate guys from friends, hobbies, and family if they can get away with it. If said girl is the only person they have, they'll stay even when things get really bad. Not every girl who uses people will do every one of these things, but if you stay long enough you'll see them more and more. It might also escalate to domestic assault as well. Sadly, a lot of men don't have a lot of emotional intelligences due to the beep stereotypes forced on them. Things like, boys shouldn't cry, don't be a quitter, strive to be the bigger man, and don't talk about your emotions, can make men easier to manipulate, on top of promoting really bad mental health strategies. Just like how pickup artists will take advantage of vulnerable women, predatory women will take advantage of vulnerable or gullible men edit. Thank you for the award edit too, thank you for the wholesome award. It's a little awkward that I earned it with a comment describing abuse, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Her pet name for you is Visa or MasterCard. She acts really nice for a while, then asks for money and weed. When you say no she turns mean lol. I'm gay. Just here for the drama. She's got a long history of dating, bad boys, but you are a clean-cut professional type of guy with a decent checking account balance. If she has other men in her life, in whatever capacity, but you're not allowed to even speak to another woman even an established platonic friend. Without her flipping her beep you are nothing to her but a source of drama and validation. Run, do not walk, away. 
when it's never their fault. She has horses. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upboat for the best quality content every day.